is the goal of liberty and justice for all. It's not a bad statement. Uh, Eisenhower was the guy. <laughs> huh? Huh? Eisenhower was the guy who put the uh, one nation under God in there after World War II. But it's still there. You know, that's the that's the direct thing, statement. We believe in we, we offer our basis to the flag, and one nation under God. You know, in India on the money, what does it say? A little slogan there. Huh? Satyam Eva Jayate. When I came to India the first time in 1978, you could actually read it. You look at it now, especially in the bigger, you cannot read it. It's so small. You know, Satyam Eva Jayate. Satyam Eva Jayate. Satyam Eva Jayate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's there. The culture is there. Yeah. So Yamaraj is giving a very generous thing. This one time, at the time of death, you know, people, they call out so many things, right? The pressure's on. They say something. I think it's airline pilots. There was some study with the black box when the planes are crashing. When the most common thing is these big, masculine, controlling airline pilots say is, Mommy. <laughs> it, all, it, all, it all just goes away in a matter of one, one, two seconds. It's all gone away, and you're just again calling, you know, Mommy, help me. Yeah. There was a plane that... Uh, crashed and one plane that was going off in New York, right? And it hit a flock of geese and both engines went out and the airplane pilot, ha pilot has something like two minutes and 40 seconds. It's about something like that's all they had. He was suddenly flying a 640,000 ton aluminum glider airplane at that. And it's, can you make it to this runway? No. They had simulators later and nobody could have made it. Where are you going to land? The Hudson River. <laughs> Say that again. Hudson River. Okay, pilot. <laughs> he had to go around. He had to go down. Told everybody real quickly, uh, get ready for an emergency crash landing. People were on their cell phones. You know, They got, they got their uh, answering machine to their wife. They said, actually, I love you. Forget everything I said the morning. You know, our plane's crashing. I love you. Goodbye. It was a very, they made a movie out of it. It was a very interesting thing. It changed everybody's life. Everybody who went that through that experience, this way, that way, you know, two minutes coming around, coming down. And then the stewardess, she said, everybody is ready. Uh, then you heard those three words that you never want to hear. Brace for impact. <laughs> it's all, they have a whole ritual worked out. They have a sadhana. They practice these things over and over again. When there's a problem on the airplane, you can't think. The stewardesses, they have to know what to do by, you know, at, at heart. That's what it says. At heart, they have to know this, not in the brain. So they know that when this, the pilot says these three, three words, brace for impact. <laughs> it's a, a nice way of saying, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're crashing. Yeah, grab your, <laughs> we're crashing. Okay. And then what do they do? It's a whole ritual. All the stewardesses and stewardesses, they, they chant, you know, uh, brace, 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 brace. That's, that's the last thing they chant. They could easily chant, Christ, 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 Christ. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Yeah. So this is what he's saying. What, what is in the heart of these people? It says that. They do not remember the lotus feet of Krishna even once within the heart. So many times I was... I learned a little bit of mountain climbing. And you go all the way up, and then you put a rope, and you big, put a big, big rope, maybe like 50, long, maybe 40, 30, 40 meters, and you jump off and go down on the rope and go all the way down to the bottom and get off like that and pull the rope through. But one person, he mis misjudged it, and the rope came out about something 20 meters too short. So he went right off at the end of the rope. And usually what people say usually one of three words. Two of them have to do with the Muladhar chakra, right? You know, you know, two things you do with your Muladhar chakra, urinating, defecating, and copulating. So usually the time of death, they say one of those things, oh, in English, I know what it is, yeah, or else, oh, you know. And that's their last consciousness, yeah, Muladhar chakra. Other people say, oh, God, you hit your, hit your ha uh, thumb with a hammer in America. What do the carpenters say? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Is that good? 
What kind of chanting is that? It's namabas, right? Yeah, namabas. And you're liberated by saying, oh, God damn it, you know, it, it, it takes away the pain. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. You know? It's namabas, you know. So this is all Yamaraj requires. <laughs> all you got to do is when you, you know, when you hit your thumb, you say, oh, God damn it. And Yamaraj says, okay, <laughs> close enough. That's how powerful the holy names are. That's how powerful the holy names are. This whole section is such an instruction on the potency of the holy name. Yeah, yeah. So these two verses, and so, so that's the general perspective. And then Prabhupada, in the purport, is focusing on Yamaraj's last requirement, which, okay, purport. The word Vishnu Kritian, Vishnu Kritian, is very important in this verse because the purpose of human life is to please Lord Vishnu. Varnashram Dharma is also meant for that pur purpose. Purpose, as stated in the Vishnu Puran, three eight nine, Varna Shrama Acharyavata Purushena Para Propumam Vush Vishnu Radhyate Panta <coughs> Nanya Tato Shakaranam. Human human society is meant to follow strictly the Varna Ashram Dharma, which divides a society into four social divisions. Brahma, the Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, and Shudra. And four spiritual divisions, Brahmacharya, Grihastha, Vanaprastha, and Sannyasa. Okay. Varnashram Dharma easily brings one nearer to Lord Vishnu. It, doesn't, it brings you nearer easily. You get a purport there? Okay who is the only true objective in human society. Unfortunately, however, people do not know that their self-interest is to return home, back to Godhead. Or not know that their self-interest, or to approach Lord Vishnu. Durashvaya ye bahirartha maninaha. Instead, they are simply bewildered. Every human being is expected to perform duties meant for approaching Lord Vishnu. Therefore, Yamaraj advises the Yamadudas to bring to him those persons who have forgotten their duties toward Vishnu. Yeah. Akritya Vishnu Krityam. One who does not chant the holy name of, Lo of Vishnu, Krishna, who does not bow down to the deity of Vishnu, and who does not remember the lotus feet of Vishnu, is punishable by Yamaraj. In summary, all, all Avaishnavas, persons unconcerned with Lord Vishnu, are punishable by Yamaraj. Okay, so... Any questions or comments? I can talk on for seven days and seven nights without stopping, but... I have a small question, and I'm, I'm working on a bigger question. But what does that mean on the Indian dollar? You said that the Indian rupee has a satya something. What does it mean? Satyam eva jayate. Which means? The truth, Victory to truth? The truth, the truth certainly conquers. Yeah. Okay. But it do doesn't have the name of God. Yeah. Yeah. And the essence of God? Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm working on my other one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. We're, um, of course, um, how, how do you start here? I, w I was born on Guam in the Marianas Islands. I came back to the U.S. when I was maybe like a few weeks old. Grew up in Arizona. A little child, so I liked the desert. Like that, you know. Then we went to California, and I grew up there. I started in electrical engineering. I was building five-stage superheterodyne AM radios with over-the-counter 12 AU7 vacuum tubes. <laughs> if anybody knows electrical engineering, this is like talking about dinosaurs, you know, vacuum tubes. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. That was even.